9th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off on the RSOE site today. Um, they've got an update on the Chile um, volcano eruption. Earlier today, a, vo a volcano erupted in Chile, sending thousands of locals away from their homes, ground grounding flights all over South America, and covering the ski slopes with area with dark debris instead of white snow. The Andes Mountains Range, which which is famous for ski lodges and ski locations, have been evacuated because of the volcano eruptions from the nearby volcano ranges. Explosions were heard earlier in the day, and toxic gas and smoke was seen rising from a three-mile-long fissure. Three-mile-long fissure. In the Cordon Kali mountain range, scientists have pinpointed the source of the eruption to come from a ridge between two large craters. So basically two volcanoes have become one. The ridge was located just west of the Argentine-Chile border. Services have, uh, sources have confirmed that the eruptions have begun as early as Saturday morning. The gas and ash have reached far into other places because of the wind conditions earlier today. Uh, the winds blew a six-mile-high cloud of ash to the ridge all the way to the Atlantic Ocean, but it also reached inland as far as the southern Buenos Aires, which, if the winds and the eruption continue, the ash and gas expelled in the volcano could reach other areas in the Argentine and Chile. And again, this is a huge volcano eruption uh, going up in South America, um, definitely weather-altering event going on in the southern hemisphere. Over to earthchangesscott.net and again I've seen some really crazy videos uh, I will attach links below of course uh, with the ash in that volcano. Ireland. Englandton farm workers escape tornado. Ten people working at a farm in County Londonderry had a lucky escape after what they described as a tornado struck on Wednesday afternoon. It ripped the roof off the barn. A car was also destroyed when a wall collapsed on it. Extreme weather in Ireland. Lightning hit sends 77 cadets to Mississippi Hospital. Hadesburg Hospitals say they are awaiting 77 soldiers who were near a lightning strike at Camp Shelby in southern Mississippi. Severe weather in Mississippi. Uh, it's official. Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl. <sighs> China floods kill 52 people. More rain forecast in the south. Uh, floods have killed 52 people and left 32 missing in China since the flood season started in June, a senior official said on Wednesday, warning of more heavy rains. And this is the place that was parched, and they've got the Three Mile Dam and all that other craziness going on right there. Um, China is definitely in the middle of its own crisis for sure. And uh, not to mention all the fires and stuff up in uh, Russia. <clears throat> uh, U.S. wild and weird weather leaves its mark, and there's a story going on about uh, how the Southwest is on fire. And. Uh, Everybody else is flooding. Flood, swamp, earthquake, ravaged Haiti, killing 23, uh, the Port-au-Prince area. And again, uh, if you want to know what FEMA camps are going to be like, if it ever comes to that, uh, check out Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and all those UN safety camps they put up for these people. Five in injured in a 5.3 mag magnitude earthquake in China. Um, so you've got a 3.9 magnitude quake hits the St. Louis region. And here's a story to pay attention to. Georgia, United States, fish mystery might go unsolved. Federal environmental regulators say they might never know what led to a fish kill on the Ogichi ri River, Orlando Montoya, Orlando Montoya, of WSVH in Savannah reports state officials are now discovering dead mussels. A U.S. Environmental Protection Agency memo released this week repeats what's already known about the kill. 
that it was caused by a common bacteria. But then it concludes that it might be impossible to know for certain what made the fish susceptible to bacteria in the first place. Uh, it's just ongoing. And then they've got a story on how wildfires create their own weather. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, they've got the 6.0 earthquake shakes southern Peru. And that was uh, 100 kilometers deep. And uh, it's, so it's a pretty deep earthquake. That's ramifications. That's, you know, right there in the Andes. And that big volcano south of there. Uh, the searing heat rave roasts the states much across the United States and to all my American subscribers I am very sure they are aware of what's going on here in the states right now as far as the heat and the fires breaking point uh, another fear piece and over to the RSOE um, <clears throat> of course they've got the flooding going on in China uh, the the big um, volcano going on in, in Chile and Argentina, it's just, um, I can't stress enough, that's that's a major, major eruption happening right now. Uh, the forest fires are of record-breaking proportions in Arizona. Um, the, the E. coli craziness going on over in Europe, uh, Spain and the USA, uh, they're saying it's over here now in Canada maybe. Uh, tornadoes in Canada. They're having some severe thunderstorms. Uh, again, another, let's see, Quebec tornado. Ontario power outage due to hail and severe weather. And flooding in the province of British Columbia um, due to extreme weather. So uh, Canada is definitely not without its own problems, um, including heat wave and fires of their own they're dealing with. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, we got another set of fires going off in Colorado. They're saying four fires. Uh, they've evacuated a few homes, and uh, this thing's uh, looking to take off. So Colorado is now starting to flare up the fire season. Um, <clears throat> flooding, <laughs> and, uh, and off the flooding in Colorado, uh, the Ute Indian tribe has declared a uh, federal emergency so they can start getting some federal aids and uh, whatnot for all the flooding that they're having to deal with with the unusually deep snow and the rapid snow melt and their rivers are just exploding and and of course all the craziness that we know that goes on with that and it's uh, all running downstream towards the Mississippi River. Think about that. Uh, what else is going on? And um, <clears throat> that tropical storm in the Arabian Sea, um, I guess, da, 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 was it Pakistan? Yeah, Pakistan was saying that it's, it's due to hit the coast and they're warning their fishermen, you know, hey, watch out, uh, this and that's going on uh, as far as uh, tropical weather, stay out. And then, uh, of course, we have Hurricane Adrian in the southern uh, Pacific off the coast of Mexico and that is turning right into the Fukushima muck uh, that they've been trying to establish and keep all kinds of crazy fronts right there off the west coast of the United States. Uh, just seems it's going to just come running up in there and uh, do what hurricanes do so we'll have to keep an eye on it. I know there are several channels doing that. Um, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course if I missed anything please comment or leave your videos below. Enjoy what you can and uh, I'll see you on the morning hump. Thanks.